Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are finally going to start the Automatron DLC. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is go into our pit boy. I forgot to put a level in the last time in the last video, not the last time, but in the last video, I forgot to put a level in. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to put it into cap collector. I will probably only put one more level into cap collector. Having three levels into cap collector isn't bad because you can help the vendors that uh, you go to regularly have more caps uh, whenever you want to spend uh, or not spend but uh, sell uh, things to them so it can be beneficial but I'm not going to worry about it I'm just going to put one more point in for my uh, vendor stuff in the settlement and leave it at that and we'll move on to something else all right now let's go ahead and go over to our radio let's make sure that we have the mechanist or the mechanical menace on and then we're going to listen to the caravan distress frequency this is an emergency broadcast our caravans under attack by hostile robots and need some serious help we're just east of watts consumer electronics if anyone in the vicinity can come help now's the time ada Loop this message. Yes, sir. You got to make sure that the quest pops up before you turn that uh, frequency off or the radio station off. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to head northwest down this road. We're going to hear a bunch of gunfire here in just a moment. Damn. Now we're just starting to have fun. Whatever you say, McCready. Ooh, that is a legendary. I forgot legendary robots blow up. Be careful. That's pretty nice. Get a robot repair kit. Essentially a stim pack for robots. Okay, let's go talk to Ada. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor, but I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. 
They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the Mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. All right, let's grab some. Spare parts, you be sure and let me know. We're going to grab Zoe's diary. If you guys want to read that for some lore, you can. And then we're going to come over here to Jackson and we're going to grab his hollow tape as well. We're going to listen to his hollow tape and then we're going to go over there and pick up a total hack magazine. Let's go into our inventory miscellaneous. And go down to the J's. We ran into some hostile robots today. They were pieced together, like the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the Mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even be on my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. Let's go into Watts Electronics. We're going to go downstairs here. Let's turn on our Pip Boy lamp. Then we're going to go in the terminal to open up this door. Let's go ahead and pick up Total Hack. There we go. Okay, real quick, I don't think I explained this very well as we're leaving this place. I'm going to explain it a little bit. So to be able to hack a robot turret or even the spotlights, you have to make sure that you have the hollow tape on you. There's two things that you're going to get when you get the total hack. You're going to get the like turret override program. That's what you need. The magazine itself, you don't need. So the total hack, you can put that away. You just need the program. So if you put the program away, you won't be able to hack the turrets and all of that stuff. Sorry for not explaining that earlier into the walkthrough. Now let's go ahead and go to our pit boy. We're going to fast travel over to the uh, General Atomics factory. Let's 
go inside. Earlier into the walkthrough, we came here to get a Tesla Science magazine up top here. Also, we're going to start seeing like a Saltron left arm, just parts of robots that we can pick up and we can use them to, um, to build different types of robots. So make sure you're picking them up. After you kill a robot, pick up the new schematic. You can pick that lock in there and actually pick up a key card for this area if you'd like. Careful sir, I don't think we're alone. Lost but not forgotten. Let's take them out. Riddance. See it says new mods available at the robot workbench. If you want to listen to the mechanist hollow tape you can. It's not really that important to listen to in the next episode I am going to be using the silver shroud costume because it's so freaking awesome just making sure there was no ro robots up top there there are not Over there, if you want to, you can go into that terminal and there's a little scenario you can do and it'll give you a chest at the end. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to do it just so I can save time, but I do enjoy the little scenario they have you do. Oof. Glad I was far away from that blast. See Robo Brain Torso. Just make sure that you're picking up those mods. Or don't. I mean, either way. It, there is a trophy for picking up, I think, 10 of them? 10 or 15. Something like that. Right here we want to use this to our advantage. Gotta make sure that you're shooting through the bars here. If you try to shoot through that, you're not gonna hit it. It's a little janky, but hey. See, if you shoot, try to shoot through the door, you won't hit it. Well, it's dead now, so I can't really. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> I killed it. We already had the robo brain torso. Let's go back around here. Go up to the top. We still have one more enemy, but I think it's just an eye bot, so it's not a big deal. We can hop down here. These rats won't affect me. You? That's a different story. I was just looking over there for a second. I'm not really worried about the lore. want the mechanist device pick that up that will progress the story hey what can i did you retrieve something from that robot have you seen a robot with a brain like that before? No, but my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. According to my databanks, it's called the Robobrain. It was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed, but the model never reached full production status. It had this strange device on it. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. 
I suspect it's how the Mechanist was keeping track of the Robo-Brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. <sighs> Are you sure? While there's only a 78.3% chance that I'm correct, I'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have. Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip some of that dialogue earlier. Let's go ahead and go into this terminal, open up the door. We're going to come out here, hop down, and then we're going to exit to South Boston. Let's go ahead and level up real quick. We're going to put one more into Cap Collector, and then I think what we're going to work on next is armorer we're gonna upgrade armorer one more time and then we'll go to rifleman and then locksmith so if you guys are leveling up a little faster than me i'm gonna be going armorer rifleman locksmith those will be my next three uh levels okay now we need to go over where are we going all the way over here yeah so this real quick let me just show you Oh, build the robot bench. I'm sorry. Nope, never mind. Doesn't matter where we go. We're going to go over to Sanctuary to build the robot the the robot bench. I will see everybody over there. All right, we made it over to Sanctuary. Let's go ahead and hold down the build button. And then we are going to build this robot workbench. We'll just build it right here. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. Ada? Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Does it have to be you? I could install it on a different robot. My memory contains more relevant knowledge than any new robot you attempt to create. I appreciate your concern, but I can assure you I won't suffer any harm from the installation. So, are you ready? It's time. Let's do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. So we'll come over here to the robot workbench and we're going to pick Ada. Go to special mods and then radar beacon. Heads up. How may I be of service? Ada? A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Do you think the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added fail safes to ensure my location is secure and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Finally, we have an advantage. Perhaps, but it isn't quite that simple. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. All right, let's do it. Good. Let's get started. I'm uploading the location of the Robo-Brain to your Pip-Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. So we finished a new threat. Let's go ahead and go to our map. And this is going to be random every single time. This will be random. So where... I have to go is going to be different compared to where you have to go. I don't know why they did it this way, but eh, it is what it is. Luckily, it's not too far away. We're just going to 
fast travel to University Point and then head over to collect the second radar beacon. We're going to travel this way. Just head south. Well, doesn't matter because it's going to be different for you guys. I'm going to try not to discover anything while I'm over here. Matter of fact, that is an event over there. How am I going to... Ugh. Alright. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. Go all the way over here. I think it's running away. It is. Yeah, you run away. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. Okay, we're not far from where we need to be. Oh, it didn't want to run away. It was tricking me. Tactical retreat. That's what it was doing. Let's just take some Radex and we'll swim across over here. Found the robots. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, don't let them hit you with that. That is going to blind you. <coughs> Obviously. <laughs> you see it blinding me multiple times. Ada, where you at? Where you at, girl? <laughs> Ugh. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Let's heal. <laughs> they are kicking my ass. Whew. That was scary. Now let's go ahead and loot this radar beacon. Ada, where are you at? There you are. Heads up. Yes, sir. Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. Remind me how this beacon will get us closer to tracing the mechanist's signal? Each RoboBrain's radar beacon has unique encryption so that it can't be traced back to the source. However, acquiring two additional beacons should provide me with enough data to break the code. So if my theory is correct, this beacon will help us trace the mechanist's signal. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime... I've picked up another RoboBrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. So, where exactly is the last RoboBrain located? Yes. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The RoboBrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. I haven't come this far just to back down now. I understand that, but you should still proceed with caution. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, Despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? 
The Rust Devils are so cool as a faction. I really like them. And now that we're doing this DLC, we'll actually be able to get robot armor, which we can get from the Rust Devils. Let's go ahead and fast travel to Fort Hagen. Okay, we're going to take a right. We'll discover the red rocket here. Sounds like more robots fighting. There are. We're not going to worry about them. We're going to go over to this satellite tower. By the way, I didn't mention in the last, not the last video, but the video that I activated the satellite tower or the relay tower. When you do that, there's going to be a bunch of frequencies that pop up and you can listen to them and they will... Um, lead you to like treasure chests or bunkers that you can loot stuff like that so once it pops up and does its thing you'll see a bunch of signals pop up on the side of the screen you can go track them by going into your pit boy and turning uh, the radio to that frequency now we're going to head southwest here just follow the road up Glowing sea looks so cool from this far. I love uh, looking at Diamond City from a distance and the glowing sea. Just think it looks really, really cool. Be really careful. There's going to be a lot of stuff to fight over here. A lot of robots, a lot of rust devils. Set off the trap, unfortunately. That's what I was trying to prevent. That's all right. It's not the end of the world. Ooh. That explosion is massive. <laughs> there you are. The robot armor is pretty cool. And the Rust Devils will now be a prominent thing in the game world. So you'll see not just Raiders, but Rust Devils now. We can stand up. And then we'll head over to this terminal and we're going to open up the door. So go to security, open door, and then we can hop down and go into Fort Hagen hangar. Let's go ahead and crouch. My advice to everybody, do a few quick saves when you're going through here. There's so many traps and enemies, it's so easy to die, especially to the boss at the end. Target down. Sir, I have some components for you. I'm okay, Ada. Thank you though. There's a bunch of enemies over here. Huh? Time to reel them in. Found them, sir. Oh, oh stay away from me. Ada, if you keep standing in the way, I can't shoot this stupid robot. Are you injured, sir? I don't know why that other robot has 
about to say, I don't know why the robot didn't explode, but there it goes. <laughs> and it flew somewhere over here. Let's go inside this door. We're going to grab a few items. I don't know why I'm even bothering to sneak at this point. It's not like I'm going to be stealthy at all. Uh, oh well. It is what it is. Oh my god, Ada, move your ass, yo. You know what would be nice if they would have added like a distance meter like I want you to stay farther away from me, closer to me, stuff like that. I think that would help with the companions getting in the way. Over here, you can get some power armor. Oh, that's a full set of X01. Man, I'm coming back for that. <laughs> I'm coming back for that. I will be back for that X01 right after this video. That's for damn sure. That's the only power armor that I'm missing is the X01. We're going to go up to the top here. Normally you would have to use that to open up the door, but it's already opened. Okay, we're going to have some really loud music and I want to listen to a hollow tape for everybody. So I'm going to grab the hollow tape and then kind of run away from the music. All right, Brain Box. Ivy wants me to find out what makes you tick. So let's get started. There's no need for that. I'm certain we can discuss this rather unfortunate situation before it gets completely out of hand. Now, what exactly did this Ivy tell you to do? Simple. She wants me to crack open that dome you have for a head and find out how your brain is connected to your circuits. Perhaps I can be of assistance in that regard. After all, there isn't much else I can do now that you've removed my head from its chassis. How about we forge some sort of an accord just between the two of us? What the hell is an accord? You talking about wires or something? Right. I need to phrase this so even a dullard like you would understand. Let me put it this way. You need information that's going to make your boss happy. I want to keep my brain in one piece. Maybe we can cut a deal. Fine. I'm listening. I'll tell you everything I know about my own construction. All the bits that Ivy wants to hear. And I promise you, she won't be disappointed. In return, you keep those tools away from me and put me back onto my body. You get what you want, and I don't get dissected, like some kind of a laboratory experiment. Do we have a deal? Well, that would save me a lot of time. And Ivy doesn't like waiting. Tell you what, you start talking, and I'll stop drilling. After I tell Ivy everything, we'll see how happy she really gets. But I think I'm gonna leave your head in that machine. I trust you're enjoying my company. Just in case you, you decide to get any quite smart an effective ideas. team. How's that for a deal? <sighs> I suppose it will have to suffice. I mean, yeah, it's a deal. Okay, let's go up here and talk to Jezebel. You don't look like one of the Rust Devils. What are you doing here? What did the Rust Devils do to you? They felt that by keeping my head online would prove useful to them. Fortunately for me, they're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, 
Back to my original question. What are you doing here? Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% .8 chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith as I describe our potential bargain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. So as soon as we pick up Jezebel, we're going to have Ahab attack us, so be prepared. He's quite a fight. Let me have this one. You or not. Destroyed Ahab. Well, come on. Let's not wait around for more horrifying monstrosities. I suggest we take as much as we can carry. Okay, we're gonna come over here. Watch the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today, thank you. Be really careful of the trip wires. If you do activate it, a bunch of grenades are going to fall down. So just be aware of that. Let's crouch just for a moment. Grab ourselves a fusion core. And we're going to go into this terminal. This is the gaming terminal. We'll eject the automatron uh hollow tape. It's just what the a fuck was that? It's just a game. Approach and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens will not You really are taking the path of most resist. Yep. I sure am. I don't know why her dialogue cuts off every single time right there. But every time it cuts off. I don't think we're alone. Worse for you. Who's there? Be really careful, there's some turrets up top as well. Then if we come up over here, we can actually get a good angle on the person that's up top there. There they are. Now let's go over here to the stairs. Be super careful with this one. 
If you set these off, very, very likely that you'll die. Because it'll blow up a bunch of stuff with these Assaultron heads. Wait for it to go that way. Right over here, if you want, you can hack that terminal to hack the turrets to fight for you or to shut them down. Just keep going up. You can loot those turrets over there if you'd like. We're going to go through the security gate. And then the next security gate. And let's put on some grenades. Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. Okay, we're going to turn our pip boy off just for a second. Contact <coughs> required. My apologies. I think I've lost Be them. really, really careful. That robot is so dangerous. More dangerous than Ivy. Lucky hit. Ooh. Had I a body, I would have killed her myself. Oh well. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Good job, human. Robot hunter. I think that's for collecting 10 or 15 robot schematics. Grab all of this stuff. This is really go. good. If you want to do a lot of energy damage, this power armor is amazing. Um, over encumbered. Let's go into Ada. Yo. Oops. Hope you find what you're looking for. All right, let's turn our Pip Boy back on. Oh, our Pip Boy light. <laughs> our Pip Boy is always on. Oh, come on, Ada. Don't be like that. You know what? Fine. I didn't want to loot over there anyways. We can stand up. Come over here. Grab the salvage assault Tron head. Pretty good if you're trying to do a lot of energy damage um, and using that power armor. If you want to lockpick that gate, you can get a fat man and some mini nukes. Let's go ahead and head out of Fort Hagen. I said uh, Fort Hagen. I meant Fort Hagen's hangar. We'll go to the top, we're going to talk to Ada, and then we're going to end the video. Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Look alive. Yes. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about the Maiden? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. We still need it, Ada. 
I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Okay, I think right about here is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.